working hard on your winter weather outlook. And once again, La Nina will be making headlines. The third straight winter where La Nina will impact our weather. That's when the cold air upwells along the Pacific coast and it impacts the uh, global climate. And we're going to see the storm track that's more west to east as we head into the upcoming, upcoming winter months. Now we look back at last year, uh, December temperatures are well above normal. January it was much colder than normal. February, March close to normal. As far as snow was concerned last season, December well below normal. Very late start to the season. I think we're going to see that again this season. January, a couple of big lake effect events brought our snow totals well above normal and then pretty seasonable for February and March. So here's what we can expect for this winter. Expecting our snow total to be slightly below normal. Checking in at around 94 inches. Temperatures will be slightly above normal again, thanks to La Nina, which will be impacted our weather once again. Now, interestingly, Lake Erie at 58 degrees, six degrees above normal right now, and a record for this date broke the old record of 57. So that lake is wide open and it is a record warm temperature right now. It will take some time for that lake to freeze this winter if it were to even do so. And that's why I do expect some snows to pop up in January when the coldest air of the season and we could see some bigger lake effect, a lake effect snow uh, event during the month of January once again, but expecting our snow totals to be slightly below normal coming in between around 80 and 100 inches here in the metro area. But the Chautauqua Ridge uh, back through the Boston Hills will have higher amounts in that 150 to 200 inch range and then you get up to